Hello, today I am in Stillwater, Minnesota at Stillwater Motors where the Fireball Chapter of the Buick Club of America is having a Buick gathering and I uh, thought I'd just take around. It's, it's not that big. It was rainy this morning and that I'm sure turned a lot of people away so there's not really that many cars here. Um, I'll have the total by when I put the video up but uh, there's new new Buicks old Buicks some that aren't Buicks a bunch of convertibles here today too here's a 72 Grand Sport emissions control systems required maintenance and warranty information <laughs> Your government at work, even back then. This Centurion, check out this hood ornament for that. That's cool. And actually, when he got this thing, that the hood ornament was all scuffed up and crappy. Uh huh. Whoa! And a good buddy of his, who was loving cars, spent forever getting that thing gorgeous what what is this that is a light sensor so it automatically brightens or dims your, dims lights. your headlights doesn't work with squat <laughs> and so it's 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 but that's that's what it that's what the thing is on the car uh-huh so oh come on you lost your magnet kid so yeah, it's, it's it's the weirdest thing that, and it's just kind of the ward. We got a suicidal magnet. It's a As usual. big old boat. It is. It yes. Is. It's like driving the Queen Mary. There you go. Stay there. Here's lacrosse. Now here's a nice little saver. It's convertible. Wildcat 355. So they always do the torque rating. So it's just like, it's just like the fact that it says 445. Over here, there's some Rivieras. No older ones. And uh, the heck is this thing called? A rendezvous. <laughs> and it'll it'll win a trophy because it's the only one here. As long as one person votes for it. Oh, there's a Skylark. Couple more uh, Riviera's here, newer, newer ones, and a, and a rega, regatta. It's the only one of those that are here. Go back over to the '65. Look, the, the Saber's nice. That's pretty small motor. Some dark ones, this one. Quite a bit different with this this big nail head, big block nail head in this small car, and that little nail head in that big car. <laughs> um, here's a nice looking saber too. 62. There's a big old Roadmaster wagon over there, but it's not in the show. It's just one of the uh, people that put on the show. It's one of their cars. Hmm. 
Now this stands out. This yellow Roadmaster, 1954. This one's a 54. Century. Convertible, of course. Here's Wesley's Roadmaster, 55? Yes, 55. I have never seen this before. It's got wing windows in the back that operate. They, they open up. Uh, I don't think there were very many cars that did that. Here's another. Fifty-four. Roadmaster. With a nail head. Yeah. Here's another Lesaber. That was a Wildcat. Sixty-four Wildcat. Yeah. Here's a here's a dandy. Hood ornament there. Or take your pick. Each one's a hood ornament. One's a badge, one's an ornament, I guess. If you want to be technical. 49. Buick Super. Here's a GSX. Uh, 1970 this is probably about the most desirable year because it's got the stage one 455 um, I think there was a stage two the engine that was a little more desirable but this F in in 71 they started emissions crap the government breathing down their neck and they started reducing horsepower and all this stuff Oh, they finally got a registration number on this car. I voted for it and it didn't have didn't have a register. It's a 38. Pretty much all original. It may have been of course restored, but I mean it's restored to original. It looks not sure about under the hood, but by the looks of that that gear shift it's a Roadmaster, too. A spare tire there. Uh huh. Nice. It's got the old, the old humpback Buick V8. Or not V8, just 8. Because they were straight 8s. GSX. Flow transmission. <laughs> Torpedo type. <laughs> Here's a Skylark sixty four. And the guy says, I'm done with this deal. I just want to I got it cheap. Well, me, it was tuna. Spark plugs were so fouled out, the edges says tuna. <laughs> Most likely the same transmission. Mine has, I'm not sure. Mine has the Super Turbine 300, which is a two speed. I'd rather. Right next to where we had our accident. Under the workbench. Oh, you've heard about it, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. This is definitely a dandy too. I like that. It looks like you're filming as you walk it, it does, doesn't it? Cool. And and it looks like that car with no brakes. What year was that? Oh, the bullet. Fifty four? They got a he's got a four twenty five nail head in here. I know, I know, I got goosebumps thinking about it. Okay. So well, no brakes. So dad's in the car driving this thing, no brakes. Lloyd Sr. is in my dad's truck. Book plate and everything. 
Well, you got to get it up over, and then you got to apron to get up, right? Yeah, you can. Give a little bit too much gas. This thing's coming at us like 10 mile an hour. Oh, yeah. You, me, and who else? GS455. This must be, well, it's at least 24 vehicles there's the people that put it on yeah this is gonna be a short video today of course since I pretty much gone through just about everything here yeah I got up early to come down here because it started at 10 and I got, what, three quarters of the way down here, it started raining. And uh, it rained all just till about it when I got here. Not hard, a lot of it was a drizzle, but it wasn't enough to deter me last year. They had perfect weather here, and I had pre-registered. But at my place, it was raining so hard, I just said, screw it, stayed home. You know, what? it's only 20 bucks, I think, for registration, 20, 25, whatever. That's okay. But, well, I think that's about it for this video. I thank you all for watching, and have a good day. Bye.